the morning from White River. Um, so I slept here near the Winnie the Pooh um, park. And now I'm just waking up and getting ready to go. Just hanging out with the door open. Old rail car, empty parking lot. Though there is a van on the other side of me. I think we're the only two left. We need the poo park over there. So yeah, I'm feeling pretty lazy today. I think I might just drive down to Sault Ste. Marie. I was gonna try camping on the side of the highway at a uh, car land spot, but I don't know if I'm up for it after all. Plus I have to hit um, a place with Wi-Fi so I can get my phone synced to iCloud because all my videos are taking up the space. So I don't know how many more videos I can actually make. Um, so I kind of want to do that. And yeah, I'm just feeling kind of tired. So I think it might be Sault Ste. Marie today. So I'll see you in the next bit. On these long drive days, I never know what to put in a video. This is a pretzel. <laughs> um, because it's like, just driving. I could like babble on and on and on for ages. Um, all right, because I enjoy talking. Um, but it would just make me probably be boring, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> to most people. So yeah, I'm just, I'm never sure what to put. I can't be too distracted while I drive to, you know, make videos and whatnot. So, I'm not really sure. But yeah, I just thought I'd mention that, in case anybody's wondering. <laughs> but yeah, closer now. Looking forward to, to getting there. This is the original Wawa Goose. It used to be at the entrance of town. But now there's a new one, but they kept this one. So you can come visit it. And I thought they used to have information about it, but apparently not. But they do have an Anukshuk, which is cool. Pause that so you can read the original Wawa Goose. You'll get to see the difference between this one and the current goose. If you do want to find the Wawa Goose, the original one, it's next to Young's General Store, which has this neat fire truck out front. There's the store if you can get gas. Welcome to Wawa Lake. It is incredibly calm today. I've been here one other time and yeah, the water wasn't this calm. <laughs> it's quite nice. Look at that. Damn. I was not expecting this. Look at that. So pretty. I wonder how cold it is. Want to find out? Ooh, it's not that chilly. But that's just my hand in there. Feels nice. And here we are. The Wawa Goose. That is one big Canada Goose. 
All right, let's see this sign. Oh, it's about the highway construction. towards Sault Ste. Marie. I'm gonna stop along the lake. Uh, there might be a couple spots just because they're pretty. Uh, and why not stop somewhere that's pretty? This place is insane. than a lake. But that's the thing about the Great Lakes, is that they're more like inland seas rather than lakes. Oh my god, this place is amazing. This is a Crownland camping spot. Free, free to stay on. Don't have to pay anything. Just be respectful. Don't leave garbage everywhere. And it look, actually looks like people have been following that. There's no garbage that I can see. And the fire pit is in the fire pit area. Like, good job. Let's go check out the sign. So here you go. No littering and no tree cutting. Like, this is all <laughs> for you to just stay at. I think that just loops around. Well, oh, there might be another spot. Let's go look. Okay, we're gonna go look over here first. <laughs> wow. Okay, this is so much like the ocean, it's ridiculous. Like, those are like tide pools. Except no tidal life. Holy crap! Oh my god, this is insane! Oh my god. My mind is freaking blown right now. <laughs> oh my god. Look at this. This is like the ocean. Like, I'm almost like, oh crap, I need to check about the tide. <laughs> but I don't. Oh my god, this is so cool. Well, that's Lake Superior for you. Oh my god. Okay, I have to go over here. That is a tree. 
growing out of the rock. Okay. I gotta get up to the top. <laughs> okay, there are people over there, so I'm going to keep it down, but holy mackerel. I think there's another spot. Stay over there. Oh, and over where that sign is. Oh, damn. That looks like somebody's house. Oh, my God. So, yeah. Wow. Okay, I'm not gonna walk out on that. I, I technically could, but I don't want to. I don't think it's that safe. I'm seriously rethinking about going to Sault Ste. Marie for the night. This is insanely beautiful. And I don't think I will get the opportunity to do this again anytime soon. Oh my God. The only problem is, is that my friend thinks I'm going to Sault Ste. Marie for the night and I don't have cell service here, so I can't tell them otherwise. Okay, so the amazing Crownland camping spot that I have found, I am at the very least going to make myself din din. Anyway, so I'm going to get the rice out and prepare everything before I go over to the side of the car to cook. Um, because it's pretty, like, it's windy, gusty, so I don't really want to do it on the side facing the water where all the, uh, wind is coming in from. Turns out I do have cell service. Uh, it's not, like, the greatest service, but I was able to send out some messages to my friend to be like, I may not go to the Sioux, I may stay at this amazing... Crownland camping spot I found and sent her a photo and I'm waiting to see what she thinks. I think she's probably going to be like, stay there. <laughs> um, it's, wow. I can't get over how amazing this place is. Like, holy crap. And it's, it's like right off the highway. It, it's right there. You wouldn't know it if you weren't looking for them though. So... People are just going to drive by, at, like I've done a I've, I've bunch of times, and uh, yeah, unless you know about it, you're not even going to know they're there. And you miss out on this amazing, amazing beauty, beauty. like this spot is a holy crap. Sorry, I'm, I'm still, like my mind is still just like, Pfft. I think I got it all in there. <clears throat> This is somebody did pull over. Okay, so they're on the high side of the highway and they've locked their doors and they're probably walking in to check it out potentially. Once it's all cooked, 
I'm gonna move so I can get a better view. So, dinner. They'll say you eat a lot of rice. Such a beautiful view. It's a little bit chill too chilly for me to sit completely outside and eat. So I'm sitting in the car with the door open. <laughs> See? Whoa! <laughs> I have no idea where those people are. It looked like they were coming back, but I haven't seen them again. Oh, here they come. So they're walking back up. I don't know if that means they're bringing their vehicle down now or they're leaving. Anyway, I'm going to finish this up, clean up, and then figure out what I'm doing from there. Okay, so I did it. I decided to stay ah, at the um, Crown Land camping spot for the night. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous because I haven't done Crown Land camping by myself before. So we're gonna see what happens. <laughs> I like, I, I had to stay, like, look at this place. It's amazing. So I'm gonna go over, check out the sunset over on the black rocks that really make me think of the ocean. And I'm gonna show you that. So here's things as the sun sets on this fantastic spot and the gorgeous Lake Superior. Like, look at that, wow. <laughs> Of the rocks. Yeah, that's just stunning. <laughs> the water's kicking up. It is gorgeous. So yeah, I uh, this is a new experience because I haven't I haven't done crown land camping by myself before. I went to a friend and her family, and uh, yeah, it was awesome, a lot of fun, and I would do it again in a heartbeat, but yeah, this, ooh, <laughs> um, yeah, doing this by myself is, is a new experience, and it's kind of funny because I feel nervous, maybe like a tiny bit scared, <laughs> um, which is funny because I'm not normally like that, like, there's things that scare me, of course, but I'm usually like, yeah, let's do this, you know? Like, it's no big deal. I'm, I've got my car, there's spot, there's other people. Like, I really don't think anything's gonna happen, but I can't help but think that maybe something would. And, and it's weird, like, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not used to that. I'm more like, yeah, let's do this and go and do it. Like, I'm doing the whole living out of my car thing, like, as if, <laughs> you know, I'm going to be phased about essentially sleeping in a parking lot in the forest. Like, it's not a parking lot. It's, it's a little spot that, you know, you pull in and it's a campsite. And then there's a spot and you keep driving. But yeah, for whatever reason, my brain has been like, what are you doing? <laughs> um, yeah, like, it's not like it's it's super dangerous or anything like that and you know I'm I'm fine I can handle myself but yeah for whatever reason I've just been kind of uh, I don't know about this but yeah I'm gonna do it I keep looking back at my car because I'm just like what happens if somebody wants to break in um I guess I just <laughs> it's my home I don't want to lose it um so yeah I uh it's a it's a new thing and gotta try new things right so 
I'm gonna be staying here. Like this place is amazing. Like it's so beautiful. Like holy crap. Like I can't, I can't get it. Like look at this. Like this is what you see on, you know, the coasts of the ocean. Like this is Lake Superior. All the, these kind of rocks, like that's what you see. And like, <laughs> like I feel like I'm on the ocean. This is crazy. So yeah, I, I have to take this opportunity to try this place out and see what it's like. It's gonna be really, really dark tonight um, because I'm in a spot where there's very little light, light pollution. Um, I guess there's a fishery that way. <laughs> so there, there would be light from that maybe because um, I was looking at a light pollution map. But yeah, so I don't know if I'll be able to get some photos of stars, that would be cool but I'm hoping to set my GoPro and do a time-lapse uh, for part of the night at least and uh, might get something that way. That would be really cool. Anyway, it's a little bit chilly. Um, my hands are getting cold and that's why I'm wearing a, a onesie. <laughs> it's, it's a raccoon onesie even though it has a striped tummy. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, I don't know if we can get the head. <laughs> it's a raccoon. <laughs> Anyway, um, got to be nice and toasty tonight because it's supposed to get down to feeling like zero. That's 32 Fahrenheit, I know that one. <laughs> um, so, yeah, the sun's almost set and it'll get much colder. So I'm going to head back to the car and start getting a little more settled in for the night and see how everything goes. Well, that's the view out the window out the back window. It's getting dark out there. <laughs> oh, I can see a planet already. But yeah, it's gonna get dark. Like, really dark. The darkest dark. Because there's like no light pollution here. It's rated a zero. Um, which is so dark <laughs> hello so I decided to turn on the overhead light briefly so I could uh, do a quick good night video um, yeah I showed you the view out the window it's getting dark um, I'm not gonna be able to see anything because <laughs> yeah rated zero it's it's gonna be dark um, got my GoPro all set up for time lapse. Fingers crossed that works, and nothing steals it, um, person or otherwise. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm gonna head to sleep soon. It's is that actually the right time? Oh shoot, is that actually the right time? Oh wow, it is. So it's three minutes to ten. Um, yeah, I guess it's. Uh, it's time to go to sleep. I'll uh, get to sleep. When I wake up in the morning, uh, I might make pancakes. I was thinking it would be a really nice breakfast to have that by the lake. <laughs> so that might be my breakfast in the morning. And I'll show you that. Yeah, hopefully it's a good sleep tonight. It's going to be a cold one. I've got my winter bag. I'm in it this time. And then, yeah, my onesie and I've got a hoodie on and everything because... I want to be warm. So yeah, well, good night, and I will see you in the morning. Mm -hmm.